what's going on welcome back for another video if you are new to the channel welcome on this channel we talk about all things crypto stocks tech and more importantly how to make money in web3 this is a very exciting project known as lens protocol and let's dive right in so looking at lens protocol we can see that lens is basically a decentralized social media infrastructure platform that is built on top of the polygon network also known as matic so too long, didn't read. Lens Protocol is a composable and decentralized social graph ready for you to build on so you can focus on creating a great experience and not scaling your users. Tend the soil, build a better social platform. Lens Protocol is a user-owned open social graph that any application can plug into. For example, think of a decentralized Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, etc. So explore the roots, dig into the key functions of what Lens has to offer. You can mint your own profile as an NFT, which is super, super neat. And you can actually use that one profile across all the applications that they have that are built on top of Lens. So instead of making, you know, multiple Instagrams or even, you know, making Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn, you basically can build one universal profile on top of Lens and use that throughout all their other networks, platforms, and applications, which is super neat and you can create and collect any publications completely on chain. Now looking at native soil, at its core, Lens Protocol is a Web3 native, so from root to bud, it's been built with features to serve the Web3 community. Looking at Silk of the Sun, users own the garden. You own all your content, you own your social graph, and you own your data, most importantly. So Lens is looking to be the last social media handle you'll ever have to create, and they actually just launched a uh, list to get on and basically claim your handle. So um, we did miss that unfortunately, but I know they're gonna be releasing a new list soon. So make sure to stay updated on their socials. I will plug everything in the description below. So with Lens Protocol, you are in control. You own your profile, where you use it, how you use it, and even how you monetize it, which is super neat. That means you have the power over your content and it's all right there as an NFT in your wallet. It's not just easy, it's how digital identity should be. So now looking at some of the apps that are powered by the Lens protocol and infrastructure, we have over here to the left, Lens Friends, we have Lenster, Favor, Iris, Clipto, and lastly, Zilli. So Zilli is a Web3 profile explorer to connect and build communities, build your own network, share your value, and leverage your connections, which is super neat. Iris, you can subscribe to creator feeds for access to token-gated content. Clipto, you can own personalized content from your favorite creators. Basically, you don't get videos from influencers, that kind of thing. Lenster is super neat. Let's take a look at Lenster real quick. So Lenster is kind of like a decentralized Twitter. So as you can see, someone just launched a new community. Um, you know, you can do posts, you can do comments, you can mirror, and you can also collect and you can report. So super neat. You can add tons of friends here. And what's great is you can also explore. And here's all the list of communities that you can join. So you have InvestDAO, RobotDAO fastest growing communities. So there's a lot to come in this. Let's also take a quick look at Favor as I do think it's a very interesting platform and app that's powered by Lens. So Favor is a share to earn decentralized social platform. Help us curate the most interesting stuff online and offline and get rewarded. The very opposite of Web2. Favor DAO will share a majority of the platform ownership with the users who are actually creating the value. And what's incredible to see is it's actually available in the App Store and Google Play already. So I think there's a lot to come with even these very few apps that are being built and used on Lens. I think there's going to be a plethora of major developers coming into the space and really building apps that reward the community, the creator, and people like yourself and like myself that are really driving these platforms. And for once, you get to own that data and you get to monetize it. So now taking a quick look at the developer garden. So basically what you can do on Lens is you can post, you can collect, you can do what's known as mirror, where you can reshare a post using the mirror feature. By amplifying content, you can receive payment via referral fees from secondary collects, which is super neat. You can also follow. Each follow NFT has a unique token ID, and it comes with an innate rarity and utility, as well as comment. You are what you say, and when you comment on a post, it lives on your profile NFT, adding to your digital footprint on chain. And here you can create your profiles. So they are composable, non-custodial, and permissionless. They contain the history of all the posts, mirrors, comments, and other content you generate while using the Lens infrastructure and platform. Individual addresses own profile NFTs, and an address can contain multiple profile NFTs, which is super neat. And you also have governance built in. 
And something else to mention too, is you can completely customize your experience by picking between different algorithms and applying different filters that best suit your experience when interacting with different applications throughout the Lens ecosystem, which is super neat compared to Web2. So now looking at when Lens went live and also the team behind Lens, this was posted on yahoo.com on May 19th as well. The team behind DeFi mainstay Aave, which is a huge DeFi protocol, has launched Lens Protocol, a decentralized social graph that allows developers to build Web3 social media platforms all run on the Polygon network. Using Lens, you can mint a profile, follow others, and create and collect posts all on chain. As of May 18th, anyone can follow a Lens profile, but only the people able to create a Lens profile are the 30,000 original signers of the Lens Protocol's open letter, including big names in crypto, ranging from the royal co-founder Blau, also known as 3Lau, to crypto influencer Cooper Turley. So looking at some news though, although minting profiles is currently closed, Aave founder Stani Kulichov assured the Defiant that there are plans to open access to more wallets in the future. So this is why I also wanted to share this video to make sure you are staying up to date so you can get those usernames as you never know how valuable certain usernames could be in the future. Also, they have a grants for incentives for developers especially. So to increase growth, Lens is offering $250,000 in grants to developers to build new apps on Lens. Potential ideas range from a curation app to a gaming app, for example. The launch of the Lens protocol comes less than a month after Aave founder Stanley Kulichov was temporary temporarily suspended from Twitter for tweeting a joke that he was the new interim CEO of Twitter, which is actually hilarious. So giving some backstory on Lens, Lens is not the first attempt at a decentralized social media platform. BitCloud launched publicly in March 2021 before rebranding to Deso in September. Deso uses the Deso token and runs on the Deso blockchain, allowing developers to build social media platforms all running on the blockchain. This means that Deso users can use different platforms with different algorithms, but their posts, likes, and comments still travel to each platform. It'd be like if your Facebook friends were immediately imported to Twitter when you signed up, except you wouldn't have to sign up because it was all built on the same blockchain. Due to similar natures of projects, there's obviously some tension. Lens Protocol, Kulichov, told the Defiant that whereas Deso is focused on creator coins and the speculative nature of social clout, Lens Protocol is an open source tech stack for building social apps, and is more focused on helping give ownership of users, accounts, followers, and content back to the people. Regarding the Lens Protocol, investor and DSO member Dylan Lee told the Defiant that unfortunately the tech is not going to make it. You can't build a social network on a general purpose blockchain. While Lee said it is awesome to see others building in the space, he believed Lens Protocol won't scale due to gas fees and the need to sign transactions for everything as DSO has its own native layer one blockchain. So now looking at some basically templates and themes that Lens provides for creators to kind of get ideas and see the power that the Lens infrastructure can provide for developers and users on the platform. Here we have governance, which is pretty neat. So imagine building a new governance and collaboration tool on top of the social open graph. So they kind of give a nice visual bootstrap together, um, give you some concepts and whatnot which is super neat. Now looking at gaming, for example, imagine joining the metaverse or jumping into a new game session to find your friends already there. So uh, I think it's super interesting how they give you these concepts and developers as it really shows the potential that's to be had on this. Also checking out some insights is pretty cool. You can really get ingrained with your social roots, um, you know, personal insights, insight driven data for you as a user, which is super neat. And then um, also, you know, creator profiles, creator matchmaking, allowing people to collaborate on a much deeper level, overlap audiences, to match people with similar creators, brands, products, or DAOs. Lens could help creators and followers discover unexpected shared connections. By building tools on Lens specifically for this will greater quantity and quality collaborations across the board. So super neat, fair drops, you know, for exclusive newsletters, merge, for example, back office stuff. So, you know, curator as well, you know, for example, newsletters, as they've been blowing up in the Web3 and crypto space lately, this could be a great use case. Also, here's where you can basically claim your handle on the Lens protocol. So I'm going to be linking this in the description as well. I hope you guys did enjoy this video as this is very early, but, you know, always bringing you the latest and greatest in the Web3 and crypto space. Keep your eye on the project as I believe the social networking capabilities of Web3 will be a million to billion dollar industry one day and this is definitely a space you don't want to miss out on.
Thanks so much. Please leave a like and sub if you'd like to support the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Cheers.